much, Minister Morris, and good morning, everyone. It's a, it's a wonderful day here in Prince George, and it's a momentous one, as Alan has just said. And I'd like to thank both uh, Ministers Lake and Morris for being here today. It, uh, their presence reflects the importance that they accord to this really critical issue. But I'm delighted to be here today to recognise the important partnership between the Rural Doctors of BC through the Rural Coordination Centre, the Doctors of, Doctors of BC and the Ministry of Health through the Joint Standing Committee on Rural Issues that has led to the creation of this five million endowment to establish a new rural chair at the University of British Columbia. And I want to thank and congratulate all the parties who have contributed to this important investment and commitment. Today's announcement demonstrates vision, leadership and collaboration on behalf of all parties in resolving complex issues to bring about change intended to improve access and delivery of high quality care for our patients, communities and First Nations in northern and remote parts of this province. We all have a critical role to play and that's why that partnership is important. We all have a critical role to play in bridging the gap between regional, cultural and economic disparities that challenge our province and society as a whole. This requires us to think differently, to find a new way forward, to improve the delivery of patient-centred, integrated, continuing care through education, research and through a partnership approach to addressing the problems that confront us. Replacing isolation with connectivity, replacing vulnerability with hope and that word again, uh, resilience. We've just seen that extraordinary supermoon last night and uh, I believe that the stars are beginning to align here. Uh, the Faculty of Medicine Strategic Plan Building the, the Future identifies our contract with society as integral to our mission. And this meshes perfectly with the platform that Dr. Avery is putting forward at the Rural Coordination Centre and the Canadian Medical Association to address social accountability as a, as a crucial determinant in healthcare. And for, for all of us, I think this means putting the patient and the public at the centre of what we do. It means a resilient approach uh, and a resilient commitment to addressing health inequities across the province. And it means fully participating in a collaborative way to understand the barriers that present health challenges in rural British Columbia. And that's a key part also of the mission of the Academic Health Science Network, which is uh, chaired by Charles Fidley, who's here in the audience. I believe it's Charles Jago, who's here in the audience. I believe it's imperative that we continue to work with our system partners uh, to influence and inform improved rural health care practices and outcomes. And that's why it gives me great pleasure to congratulate Dr. Dave Stanton on his appointment as the founding rural chair. The founding rural chair is a pivotal leadership and advocacy role that will help to shape and improve decision making so that we can better engage with the issues that confront us in rural British Columbia. Dave is no stranger to this role. He, he brings a wealth of experience. As the former Executive Dean of ed Education with UBC's Faculty of Medicine, uh, he oversaw the expansion of the distributed program here and the training programs for Northern BC. And he's recently spent a great deal of time traveling and meeting and engaging uh, with doctors, nurses, and patients in the North. And on the step, coming to a new understanding of you know, based on his already existing considerable understanding at first hand of the issues and complexity that are involved in rural health. So today's announcement of this rural chair means that we're putting our collective vision into action to ensure that we have a strong advocate in the North working to identify new pathways forward uh, to develop connected team-based care environments so that our patients can receive the best advice, diagnosis and treatment through new technologies and streamlined processes. We live in a connected world in the 21st century and we must strive to bring that connectivity to bear in delivering equitable healthcare. Excellence, engagement, equity and effectiveness are the four E's that we have built into our strategic plan within our faculty. And when you look at those four principles, equity, engagement, excellence and effectiveness, we can certainly see that today's announcement embodies all of those important qualities. But yet, much work is still needed, and that's why we all look forward to ongoing engagement and 
collaboration with the Rural Coordination Centre, uh, with doctors of BC and with the Ministry of Health, with support through the Academic Health Science Network, which will be vital to continuing our commitment to building these new pathways of patient-oriented care. So, again, uh, thank you all for coming here today, and congratulations, uh, sincere congratulations to all of those involved in bringing about this uh, momentous development. Thank you.